Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party, you have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just, so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice, lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey Nisi. Hey Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy you're here with me. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party, and I have a special guest today, Jim. He's behind the scenes helping me work everything, bringing you guys on camera and sharing comments and other fun stuff. So we're going to do a spring bicycle today. Yay! And you guys can use your favorite colors and supplies, of course. I'm going to be using acrylic paints, paint brushes, and sharing some of my favorite supplies with you guys. I hope everyone's doing great. So, hey, it's Eileen. Yay, Eileen, glad you're here. Oh, it must be spring break, or either Eileen's squeezing this in between her classes. I know sometimes she does that. So, you guys, we put the link up early in case you have to go back to class. Uh, so, we'll get going, and then later when we get time you guys can come up on the camera. So let's see, I want to do things a little bit different today because I want to give our canvas time to dry. So rather than painting around the bicycle, I want to paint the entire background. So hey you guys, and if you're watching recorded, we have a live stream going on so everyone's commenting, which is super fun, I love it. And we'll bring them on camera also. So you guys, I have a variety of supplies and I'm gonna be using a 16 by 20 canvas, okay? Someone messaged me the other day, when you buy them already packaged, they already have gesso on them. So you don't have to do anything to them. Some woman um, bought one and wanted to so look at the back do you see the back of this so this is canvas which is really just muslin fabric and it's stapled to a wooden frame and then the front already has gesso on it so there's nothing you have to do to this to get it ready other than paint it right so this um acrylic paint works beautifully on here not so much with the paint sticks or the watercolor paint but i'm going to use acrylics today and before I do my sloppy copy, okay, you guys know my sloppy copy is on practice paper. So if you guys have some practice paper, eight and, 11, eight and a half by 11, that's awesome. Uh, have some pencils around. I always have these big pink erasers handy. So again, those are things you're gonna need to do your sloppy copy, but we're gonna start different today. So today I'm gonna move this. That's going to be my sloppy copy for later. I'm going to put my canvas on here. Now, the format that we're going to use is going to be vertical or portrait, right? So I want you guys to make it taller because the bike, we're going to only do part of the bike and we want to make it big. So again, you could be using any size that you want. It doesn't have to be as large as mine. I just like this size because it's easier and it's easier for you guys to see. I also want you to have, if you have a flat paintbrush, a flat paintbrush looks like a square. Okay, a round paintbrush has more of a pointy tip. You can still use the round. I'm trying to dig out a round. Let's see. You can use a round paintbrush, but it'll just take longer. And I like those streaky brush strokes. You see those streaky brush strokes in there? So you get more of those with the flat paintbrush. And you can use any size. I, I'm not going to tell you. It just depends on what size your paper or canvas is. Now, I like to use, look, I have a brand new styrofoam plate. <laughs> Last time I held up my used one. So I use this for my paint. So I'm going to start with white and a little bit of black. You guys, I go through so much white paint. You're always going to run out of white before you run out of your color because we're using white all the time. So I have, um, I always recommend this because it's, a quart and I go through the quart and then I just use a tiny bit of color. So I have a quart of white acrylic paint and I already squirted it on my plate with just a tiny bit of black. 
I am not going to water down my paint. So my brush is dry. If you already wet your brush, dry it off on a paper towel. Got to have your paper towels because you never know when you're going to have an accident, right? If you guys know me, you know I'm pretty messy. So put a little bit of white and a little bit of black because we're going to do a gray background. Do you have to do gray? No. You can change it, make it a different color. But remember, you want to have contrast to the foreground. So you want the flowers and the bicycles to show up against the gray background. So you want the black tire and the black handlebar to show up. So don't make your background too dark. So again, I'm just taking that flat paintbrush, and I'm going to use these vertical brush strokes that's up and down this way, right? And you want it to be streaky. And I know this is... If, you guys paint with me all the time. You know this is different. I never paint before I do my sloppy copy, but I want this to dry. So don't make it too thick. We're gonna. This is the background. We're gonna set it aside while we practice. But let's get it coated first. So you see all those streaks that I'm getting. I love that. Now look what happens if I go over it too much. If I keep going over and over and over it, it turns solid gray. That to me is a little boring. I like the streaks. So that's why don't go over it too much. Once you get it to where you like it, leave it alone. So I'm, again, I'm not adding any water. This is just white acrylic with a touch of black. You don't need a lot of black. And again, if you wanted to put like a touch of yellow or a touch of pink in there, go ahead. I'm sticking to gray. Don't get it too dark, remember, because we want to have the contrast. And then we have a little bit of white, right, at the top of the bicycle handles. So don't make it too dark either. I mean, too dark or too light. So I just keep scooping up a little. Look at that. Oops, that's too dark. Should I cry and have a nervous breakdown? No. I should just add some more white to it. You guys, I make mistakes all the time. Shh, don't tell anybody, okay? But you know what? They're all fixable. We can fix it and learn from it. So that's why I tell you, not so much black. Did anybody add too much black and get a big black kind of spot? Just blend it in. And that is what's so fabulous about acrylic paint is it's opaque, which means you cannot see through it. That would not work with watercolor paint. Watercolor paint is transparent. You cannot, you cannot hide your mistakes with watercolor unless you turn it into a happy little bird, right? <laughs> Quoting Bob Ross there. Oop, I got, I got my, oop, oh, I got my, Bob Ross. Wait, let's see what's in the box. I forgot, you guys. I got to get out Bob Ross. I quote him. <laughs> what's in the Amazon box today? Do you guys love getting your Amazon box? Ooh, I know I got a bicycle book. Okay, I'm going to read you guys some fun facts about bicycles. A hot glue gun for later. Hope I can't say. I'm really digging for my Bob Ross book. So, you guys, these are canvas pads. Love these. Uh, a lot of you guys already use these, which is amazing, but they're canvas, so you can paint on them with any supply, including acrylics, and you can tear them out or keep them in the sketchbook, but we love these. A lot of you guys use these. Here's my bobblehead in my Amazon box. Here's my Bob Ross. Make a happy little tree, right? My little Bob Ross bobblehead. All right, I'll show you more what's in the box later. So Bob Ross was all about, hey, a happy little accident, you guys. <laughs> What's it? What else is in my Amazon box? I'm going to show you later. Yeah. And so you have uh, Gina uh, Capone, who's over on Amazon, said that uh, she's an artist as well, went to college for fine arts, and she loves the those uh, pads that you were showing earlier. And Gina actually was watching Dealcasters last night. And so I told her to come check out this show. So we got, uh, we got a nice group of uh, folks watching on Amazon. So hopefully they're unmuting so they can hear all these great tips you're giving. Well, welcome. I'm so excited to have you and I'm so excited to be on Amazon as well. And my Amazon people, I have a subscription group on Facebook. So I have uh, people from all over the country who are creating with me, who create with me at least once a week. And I'm going to bring them on later and let them uh, share with their creations. They're very talented. 
most of them had been creating with me for a year. And I also went to fine art school, Gina. I went to the Cleveland Institute of Art and I have a degree in graphic design. And then I really wanted to major in painting. And my mom said, what are you going to do with painting? You can't make a career out of painting. So I majored in graphic design and I did not like it. So I went back to school and got my master's in art education at Case in Cleveland also. And then I became an art teacher for 20 years and taught in the city of Cleveland. And then I just wanted to do more outside of the classroom. One of my favorite things to do is travel the world. I love traveling and you know, I could, I had to travel according to my school schedule and that wasn't working for me. <laughs> it limited me too much. So I was like, I need to change. So now I have my own business artist at heart paint party. And of course, since COVID I have been mostly virtual. I do. And this Amazon thing, thank, thank God for Jim. I'm going to say that because Jim, uh, and Jim uses StreamYard, which is the program that I've been using now for over a year. And I saw Jim very knowledgeable in StreamYard and I reached out to him for help. And he is the one who introduced me to Amazon Live and is helping me behind the scenes. So I am very thankful for that. And, and, and oh, sorry, Gina, Gina said she went to FIT. Ah. And she also had a second major in computer graphics and was an art director for 15 years for a bunch of different trade publications. So Gina, I'd be interested to think, what do you think of this whole idea? Because I think it's a great idea of the fact that um, Denise is doing these art classes on Amazon so people can learn as they as they shop. What, I'd love to get people's feedback in the in the comments. Yeah, me too. Because what I think is really, really interesting. So when I went the first day, I went live on the computer with a lot of help, by the way, uh, was March 16th of 2020. And one of the number one questions was, what can I have a supply list? And I'm thinking, use whatever you have, right? Crayons, markers, colored pencils. But no, they want, sorry, moms, you guys know moms want a list. What is my supply list? So for a year, I've been hearing that over and over and over. And you guys, again, I taught art for 20 years. I have lots of favorite supplies, okay? And acrylic paints are one of them. I also just um, have in the cart, one of my other favorite acrylic paints is the multi-service paint so that one you can use on a canvas but you can use it on glass you can use it on paper you can use it on ceramic pottery i think i have, here's one all right so like this look at that if you guys want to make some terracotta pots so you can put a bicycle on a pot but here's my little birdies right this is just the multi-surface okay this bottle's a little sorry they don't look brand new i'm did i told you i was messy right but this is just multi-surface so it's acrylic paint you can still use the acrylic paint but don't use regular acrylic paint on something like this because it'll come off. Multi-surface sticks to all of it. It's amazing. Right. But I, 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 I could talk forever about art supplies. Yeah, G Gina said she loves the, uh, thinks it's a great way to explore different media that maybe someone has not been introduced to and you follow along and you can also buy the products from the carousel. So yeah, I, I, that's what I thought of because I'm not artistic. I told you that um, maybe in a different way, but not like, I would probably just make a mess. Um, <laughs> and yes, uh, Domenica, we can see you, your comment on Amazon. So thank you for joining us as well. And hopefully, and I, I always put this up because this is for our Amazon viewers. You have to unmute so that you can hear all these great art tips that uh, Denise is giving you. And you're going to get an amazing lesson. And if you go and follow Denise's shop, you can go back and see the lesson she gave last week which was really amazing as well. So you can always be learning from Denise by following here on Amazon. And like she said, head over to her Facebook and uh, you can get into her group if you really want to get to know Denise one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. So you guys, and again, those of you guys that are always painting with me, just set this aside, okay? I have a blow dryer here for later in case it's not dry, but all you have to do is set it aside while we practice. And you know it dries really, really quick. So I'm going to set it over there and I'm going to go back to my sloppy copy.
So if you guys have um, practice paper, again, keep it in portrait or vertical like this. I'm going to use a black Sharpie, but I want you to use pencil. I'm not using pencil because it's too hard to see on the screen. I don't want you to use Sharpie because I want you to be able to erase it if you make a mistake. So I'm going to get going and I'm going to show you another purpose for my plate, right? You guys can use your styrofoam plate, your palette, if you have an extra one, you can use it to trace. Okay, it's hard for me to trace up like this. But if you want to use your plate or something, again, it depends on what size paper you have and it's okay if it goes off the edge of the paper but so this is what is this 12 by 18 maybe this one is eight and a half by 11 so find a circle in your environment it could be a plate it could be a cup it could be whatever you have and trace the wheel for the bicycle or freehand it totally up to you okay so now I'm gonna do so there's my circle for my wheel and I'm gonna just do another one I'm gonna do a the spoke. All right. I, I, that's why I have, <laughs> that's why I have the book here. I'm laughing because I don't know the names of the parts of the bicycle. I promised I was going to learn them here in here. This is going to look like a little donut. I'm going to do a baby. O and then a bigger. O. that's right. So you're doing, you're doing the, the tire and then you're going to do the spokes, right? Is what we're, what they're called that go between. Yep. Okay. Oh. So I know I can help you a little bit with, with the bicycle. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Because you know what? All right. So I got this bicycle book, and this is in the carousel too. Especially, I, you know what? I have a lot of teachers that watch. So I love to incorporate as much as possible, but not just for kids, because there's stuff in here that I didn't know. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So we're going to start with the basics. A bicycle is a two wheeled vehicle that gets its power when the rider pushes the pedals around in a circle. Okay. I knew that <laughs> the word bicycle means two wheel by means two and cycle means wheel or circle. Okay. This part, you guys, this is the cool part. Look at this. The first idea for a bicycle was similar to this and is believed to have been drawn by the Italian artist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci about 500 years ago. His sketch looked a bit like the bicycles we see today. The first bicycle was built in France about in about 1800. It didn't have pedals. The rider powered the hobby horse by using his feet to push along the ground in a running motion. So I thought that was interesting. There you go. There's some fun bicycle facts for you. So let's keep going. It, this does make me want to go for a bike ride. It's You guys, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. All right, I'm going to do a slightly diagonal line. If you want to use a ruler, you can. I'm not going to use a ruler, and I'm not going to worry about it either. The hand, this handlebar part reminds me of a question mark. So watch. I'm going to do it kind of like this. Doesn't that kind of look like a question mark? Or actually, this curve goes this way. See, that's why you use a pencil and I use a marker. Oh, right. you, you, you could use a marker. I would need a pencil. Yeah, you need a pencil and an eraser. <laughs> and then this part, all right, what's this part of the bike called that? I want to call it a fender, but I don't know what it is, that part. So that's that part right there. Oh, you know what we could, uh, you guys know, you guys are smart. You probably know all the names, but how about I want to tell you guys, to about some of my favorite my favorite scenes from movies from the time I was a kid to today um, some of my favorite scenes with bicycles do you guys have any are so you, are, are we ready are we ready for the for the quiz yeah let's do the quiz all right so you guys so you, you want to give them you want to give them the rules the rules you guys message in the chat i want you to give me um the answer if you can come up jim maybe we could i don't know 
put them on the screen or I don't know, what can we do for we them? We can definitely put them on the screen if they're showing uh, in the Facebook group, but uh, I'll be able to let you know. I'm watching the chat on Amazon to, to awesome. find out who gets the right answer. All right. So are you ready? All right. So you guys, the first, let's see if you can name that movie. The first one to name that movie. Ready? This is one of my favorites with the bicycle. <laughs> That's as close to the sound effect as I can give you. Who is it? What movie? Okay. Jennifer on Amazon says it's The Wizard of Oz. So good job. <laughs> Yay, Jennifer. Shout out to you. All right. And I know that's from a movie, too, from, right? Yay, Reagan got it, too. Reagan's one of our members. Awesome. Reagan Ward over there. Who else is that? I can't see. So yay, Nothing. you guys. Yay, yay, yay. Jennifer got it, right? And yeah, this might be this might be um, Susan. I know you have to make sure, folks, if you're on Facebook, give StreamYard permission to see your name in the group. So, but yes, Wizard of Oz. That's why sometimes, like Susan, sometimes it just comes up as a Facebook user. So if you give them permission, then I then we can show your name. Um, and sometimes Kim too hasn't given her permission. So, but I know my members, and but I right. can't. Tell I'm watching it. All right, so let's keep going with our sloppy copy. Good job, you guys. We'll do more movie trivia with bicycles. Hey, if you have one too, you can share it. Okay, so now let's do our bicycle basket. Okay. So let's say I'm going to do the basket right around here. Do you have a basket on your bicycle? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either, but I want one. I have a friend, Shauna Walker, who was going to join us today. I'm not sure she's joining live or not, but she sent me a picture of her bicycle, which looks just like the picture. And it has a basket with flowers and it's the same color and everything. So I'm just sketching some circles. You can overlap them into your basket. The real, I don't want to get too detailed because again, this is my sloppy copy. I'm just, you can put leaves. You can put the like rim here in the basket. You can put those lines that connect it. And then don't forget the bumblebee, because he's cute. Just like an oval head. His little tail. Okay, and, and we've got a question um, from A. Presley, who just started following over on Amazon. So he said, they started diamond, diamond painting. Um, can you tell me the sizes of the led light pads some of my paintings are bigger than the pad and the um, light pad so is is that the sketchbook pad i don't know what the LED, is that the sketchbook pad that i held up it might be um yeah a presley if you can tell us um that would be helpful so this is is this what she's is it this so mine is actually 11 by 14 right and a lot of the people that are with us today you'll see when they hold those up most of theirs are, are nine by 12 so they use nine by 12 and again i'm going to use um just because my canvas stands up nicer with the frame so i'm going to use 16 by 20 and that's why we're practicing if you guys are looking for a printable template you can find those in the free Facebook group, Artist of Heart Paint Party. I have a free group that has the printable template under the files tab. And that, again, you can print out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So a lot of the people that do this with me all the time use it as a reference. If they have little ones at home that want to participate also, they just print it out and let them color it. You can trace it with, um, you know how I trace you guys, if when I taught in Cleveland, we would hold it up to the window. So if you have a printout and then you put the piece of computer paper over it, you can trace it onto that. You can freehand it like I just did again, and it would take practice. That's why we do a sloppy copy. So, and then there's carbon paper. I put carbon paper also in the cart. So some people that like to do the printout, um, again, you can find the PDF in the files tab of the free group. And then my members have it also in their group. Um, 
So if you use carbon paper, you can put it under the printout and then trace it right onto your uh, canvas as well, because the canvas is thicker, so it's hard to see the light through it on the window. And uh, again, if you're using it larger, you can use the practice as the reference and then just make it easier. So if you have, so this plate, again, I don't, this styrofoam plate, is it going to work? No, look, look at how much bigger it is. So this is an eight and a half by 11. Look at how much bigger that plate is than my paper. So that's why I'm saying you have to find a circle that fits your paper, no matter what size paper you have, right? This is a good Great size. Point. Yeah. Yeah. So it just depends on what you're using. I don't want to tell you, you have to use, you know, nine by 12 or 11 by 14 or 16 by 20. I want you to use what you're comfortable with. Just remember the smaller you go, the more fine motor you have to have. So to me, it gets uh, harder, the smaller you work. All right. So there's our sloppy copy. Are you guys good with that? Now she did say, I guess she said that it's more like a tracer pad. Okay. And, and so I, I didn't quite understand the question. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can kind of help me understand the question again. So you have a tracer pad, which is fine for tracing, but um, it's not great for painting. If you use it to paint on, it's going to get all warped and bubbly, right? So don't paint on a tracer pad. If you're trying to transfer something to a canvas, you know, you could do old school where you take a pencil. You guys remember this? And you color on the back of it. Oh, oh I just spilled my water. You guys. <laughs> all right. That's why. <laughs> And guess what I spilled it on? I spilled it right on my phone. Okay. okay I, I have a case on my phone. <laughs> so I, Jen Jennifer deadly saying she thinks it's an electronic device and Gina's and we're kind of asking a Presley um, that it's like a light bright. Um, oh yeah. So, or that's what Gina, Gina's wondering if it's like a light bright and, and then Denise had, had a pretty, in, uh, or I should say Gina had a pretty interesting comment. She said that, uh, they're doing Australian bank drawings in her son's art class, and he made a, a fish. So that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Wait, G who's from Australia? Or no, G Gina's not from Australia, but I guess the art teacher had him do, like, imagine they were in Australia. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. You guys, I was in Australia um, two, almost two years ago. I took a, a course. I stayed. Um, at oh, the she said bark, Australian bark. Oh, that's cool. You can't uh, yeah. correct your comments. <laughs> I was um, in Australia doing taking a class, and I uh, I swam the Great Barrier Reef, and we stayed at the Great Barrier Reef, Reef Aquarium with Miami University and all the people there, and it was amazing. So, and I actually got them to come on the class one day live. So, um, now here, you guys, I'm done with my sloppy copy. If your canvas is not dry, I have a blow dryer. Oh, it doesn't reach the. Hold on. Just give it a quick zap. Are you guys laughing at me? Hold on. I got it's my blow dryer has one of those things on it. Oh, let's see if it works now. Okay. All right. That's all you need to hear. That's right. Who likes the sound of a blow dryer? You know what? They should make blow dryer. Oh, I forgot the spokes. You talked about the spokes and then I didn't do it. Look, here's a spoke. So those are just lines radiating out from there. You guys forgot to tell me I didn't do the spokes. So there's my spokes. Again, if your canvas is not dry, give it a quick blast of a blow dryer. I um, have a lot of blow dryers, okay? I like to blow dry my hair. Plus, I like to blow dry my canvas so the backdrop, background is nice and dry, right? So there's my background. Yours can look different than mine. It's going to look like yours. It's not going to look like... Mine exactly, but you have the idea. Now, does your bike have to be that turquoise blue? No, but that's a cool color. My color is actually called aqua. So if you don't have the little bottles, it's okay. You can mix up your favorite color. So aqua is like a blue plus a little bit of green and some white. So I'm gonna use black, white, aqua. My flowers can be any color. Bumblebee is gonna have yellow, right? You could do rose color flowers and brown for the basket. So. Let's get that on the canvas now. So I'm gonna draw it one more time. You can use that plate. Make sure it's dry, right? You don't wanna use a pencil or a marker on this if it's not dry because it, it will ruin it. All 
All right, so there's my wheel. Let's start with that donut over here. And again, if you want to find a circle that's, you can trace it, that's fine. Could you trace a donut? <laughs> yep. Where's my donut? No, because I would probably eat it too quick, right? So here's that main part of the bicycle. But okay, who doesn't love a donut, you guys? Oh, let's do well. Let me let me sketch this out, and then we'll do another mo another movie scene. Who's gonna Who's gonna know the answer to the next movie scene? All right, let's do this bar here. And again, you can refer to your practice one. And then there's that question mark. And then that, here's that bicycle. And then the spokes. So Denise, for our viewers, what you were doing previously is like that was giving them a chance to practice drawing the bicycle before putting it on the backdrop. Yes. So that's that's what our slappy copy is. Our slappy copy is our practice. And that's why I'm saying if you guys have, okay, you know I spilled water, but I spilled water all over my paper. So, But this is just computer paper that you can print on, and I use that a lot of times for my slappy copy. I'm going to recycle this. Don't worry about it. I'm going to figure out a way to use this for later. And um, that's why, I, again, I would be using pencil and eraser. That's my slappy copy. Some people don't do the sloppy copy. Some people just watch and then kind of see what I'm going to do and then do it again. But I like to do it, you know, I never usually start with a painting, but I did today because I wanted this to get dry so we could do the whole background. If yours is still not dry, you could just take a break and watch. You can watch it later, record it, or you can get your blow dryer out, right? And I've even um, been at like parties out where they have those hand dryers and they just go in the bathroom and blow dry it like that. Or if you're outside, you can kind of fan it like this. Just don't drop it on carpeting or anything. But you, <laughs> or you guys, I drop stuff on carpeting all the time. I brought these out just in case. So I always have these. Those these are, are amazing. Are I, amazing. I had no idea what a magic eraser from Mr. Clean could do. I mean, it it'll takes all the stuff off your walls and your baseboards that you thought would never come up. It's amazing. I know scuff marks, which I have all over the place, but even acrylic paint, you guys, so acrylic paint, I'm looking at my carpeting because I did sprinkle a little bit. And so even acrylic paint, it, it just takes it right out and it doesn't ruin my carpeting. So it's really, really nice. And it cleans my hands too. <laughs> so, oh, you know, I'm, while I'm talking about it, if you guys didn't know this, hand sanitizer also takes out um, paint. Like when I was in school teaching, we would use um, hand sanitizer on kids' shirts. And so it also can help remove paint. So oh. test it out. That's a, a little trick that we've um, learned along the way. So yeah, when we're at a paint party in public. Again, right now I'm doing a lot of virtual stuff, but when we're, when we're in public, I always have a bottle of uh, hand sanitizer. And some people just use it, again, to clean their hands, and, and it does take off paint. So let's do the basket now so I don't forget. So here's my basket. And again, you don't have to have a basket. You can customize this bike to look like your bike. Okay. If you have favorite flowers, you know, a certain kind of flower, I'm just putting these like little round overlapping shapes here. Some leaves. Make room for your bumblebee because he's so cute. <laughs> I think he makes it right. Not that I really like bumblebees, you guys. I did not know this, but there are these really, you know, those giant bumblebees that are really fuzzy that look hairy. So they're called carpenter bumblebees and they don't sting you. <laughs> so I, I have a house with a wood deck. And, oh, I was and they're so eating your wood, aren't they? Yes, they're yeah. eating my wood, but they don't bite me. So I, after I decided to run inside 10 times when I was running from them, I realized, oh, they're not after me. They want the wood from my deck. So, <laughs> so anyway, but they're really cute and fuzzy bumblebees, but they just like to ruin my deck. So anyway, now you have um, a little bumblebee, I hope, and the sketch 
doesn't have to be perfect. And let's talk about another movie with a bicycle. All right, let's see if you can name this movie, you guys. All right, All right what movie is this from? My Childhood. You know it? Have you seen that movie? One of my favorites. We're waiting, we're waiting. I know the kids in my subscription group. Well, maybe you guys have seen this, but All if right. you have not seen Je it. Jennifer, Jennifer on Facebook, or I should say on Amazon, and Gina said Goonies, and Chris said E.T., but I think the Goonies is correct, right? Goonies it is. And also Jennifer Ward on in the Facebook group said, oh, goodies, that's close. Um, <laughs> that's Reagan. <laughs> so Reagan, Reagan and her mom. Reagan is, um, and Jennifer's her mom, and they are, yes, it is Goonies. Yes, that's a good one. Uh, we have a little GIF, Goody. Can you put the next one up? Yes. So look at, he stole her little bike with this. She has a basket. Look at her little basket and her bike's pink. Look at her stomping her feet in the background. I love that. <laughs> That's from Goonies too. That's the brother. So if you haven't seen that movie, you guys make sure you watch it. It's awesome. So do you want to go with the next one or we want to wait before we do the next one? Yeah, we can do the next one. Go ahead. Let's All right. Show Here's one. another one, folks. Ah, you guys know who that is? Look at that bike. Those bikes are really cool too. And he doesn't have a basket, right? And he's got a red bike with white wall tires. <laughs> you can do that to your bike too. Anybody got the name of that? Pee Wee's Big Adventure. It's right. From, from Chris. And uh, everybody's talking about this, the, the sand lot too, right? You're killing me, Smalls. And then uh, that's very funny. Very funny. That's it. Yeah, I, I watched that one, I think, growing up. And yeah. Like, we're dating ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I know. What the kids know. That's awesome. Yeah. Sad, you guys. Okay. So let me tell you before I paint my picture, what I wanted to tell you is there's so many different ways you can embellish your artwork. I'm going to paint in all my flowers as well. But I have here, just to show, give you an idea, some fake flowers, okay, that you can always add as well. So I'm going to do painted, but I'm also going to hot glue some of these on here to show you just another way you can sunflowers, my Van Gogh sunflowers, love those, right? But again, I have a variety of sizes here. I have some in the carousel that you can get like a, that are different sizes and colors also. And you would definitely want to hot glue those just so they stick better to your canvas. But I'm going to do a, show you a variety of both. So I'm going to start with the turquoise part or aqua. I'm going to use aqua for my bike. I'm going to hold off on the black and I'm, you know how I use the flat for the background. I'm going to use the round to paint my, um, so this is the round. So if you have a paintbrush that has a point to it and it doesn't have to be a perfect point, I'm going to paint this fender part in. So you see the contrast, the background is not too dark and not too light, which allows this aqua or turquoise to show up but you could have a red bike like Pee Wee. you could have a goonies bike and i'm painting right over my black sharpie line and again you could not do that with uh, watercolor paint because you would see it but i can do it with acrylic because acrylic is opaque so it is so covering and again if i made a mistake and i didn't like it if i was patient and let it dry or I use my blow dryer to dry it, I can paint right over it. I like that teal color. That looks really cool. And I'm going to do this part here. It's like a slight diagonal. And my donut. And, you know, painting is like anything else. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. So the more you read, write, practice, sports, the better you're going to get at it. 
and you do not have to keep up with me. And you guys that are watching that are my members, and this goes for everybody else too, if you guys want to come on early at any point because you have to go back to class, feel free to pop on before you have to leave and we'll put you up on the camera and see how far you are. And you can also tell us what supplies you're using today. So if you guys want to come on the camera early, feel free to just click the StreamYard link and come on camera. And you can just um, tell us what you're using today. So... Um, I'm going to keep going. I noticed the highlights here. So that all I'm going to do, I'm not even going to wash off my brush. I'm going to take this dirty brush that has the aqua. I'm going to touch some of my white paint and I'm going to mix it right on my bicycle. And I'm going to follow, oops, I got black on there. Oops, shh, don't tell anybody. I made a mistake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, I'm going to mix it right in there. What would Bob Ross say? A happy little accident. Okay. Look, you can't even tell. So my brush stroke is following the shape of the bike. See that? So I'm just giving a little bit of highlight. And I'm going to put a little bit in over here. A little highlight over here. You can mix it in here. Just so it's not flat, like a flat aqua but if you want it to be a flat aqua it's fine with me i just like a little value so value are lights and darks of a painting so this is a tint t-i-n-t -I -N -T, a tint when you add white to color it becomes a tint okay so that's pretty much all i need for the turquoise for so wash off your brush dry it off with a paper towel now you want to get rid of that color right Oh, you know what else I want to tell you guys? Okay, so you know how I just bumped into the black paint, which I do all the time. Here's another option. So you guys, all right, this, this, yeah, this is brand new. I have another one that's open. So these are really cool, but this one's brand new. I have an open one somewhere. So it has a little hole there. You see it, but it's, it's sealed because it's new. But I have another one. But let me show you what I'd like to do too so I don't bump into my paint. Have you guys ever seen these? These are like little mini cups. They're two ounces. They're good for like people put little snacks in them and they have a lid. But, so I don't bump into other paint. And also like if you wanna do a paint party with your friends, sometimes people make their own little kits. These are awesome for kits and for snacks. You could fill them with peanuts too, but look at. So you put the white in there so it doesn't get dirty. And then if I don't use it all, I have a lid. Okay, so this is really good, again, especially if you want to make your friends, like I do a lot of paint parties, especially virtually, and a lot of the um, families have been making their own kits and giving them to the friends, like delivering them off over to the house. So this is two ounces, which could make several paintings, but this is a good way to keep your paint fresh so it doesn't dry out and you don't get it dirty. All right, so what was I going to do with, oh, I want to do my, um, my question mark looking line, white. And I don't want the black in it. So I'm just going to dip my dry brush. So you're washing it off. I'm still using the round paint brush. And I'm going to paint that question mark looking area white. Oh, we had a question too from the group. Um, where can you get the cups with lids? That's also in the carousel, you guys. So check out the carousel. They're pretty inexpensive. I think I have two in there. There's a hundred pack and a 200 pack, but they come with the lids. So again, you're, and if you guys are going to do like a paint party with your friends or something, you, you can fill two ounces of white and that's going to do a few paintings. Um, and you don't really need that much paint in there, but this is a great way to save your paint. So you don't waste it. So you know how I'm using that plate? Usually, you know, I'll have leftover on my plate. You could also put aluminum foil to seal your paint, but it won't last for more than a couple days because you know the air is going to dry it out. 
Another thing, you guys, okay, I don't have this on my carousel. This is an empty egg container. So the problem is it's not airproof where the solo cups are. Um, but this is a great for a couple days, right? So you can use an empty egg container for your acrylic paints, close the lid, it'll stay fresh for a couple days, but then the paint's gonna dry out because the moisture is gonna be gone, right? Where those little cups, this will last for a long time. I actually had some in my garage and um, it lasted for a few months where it was still fresh. So I love these, again, especially if you're making up kits and stuff. Yeah, I, I've, no I've noticed too that they're they're starting to do more of these egg containers just like that and getting away from like the cardboard. So that's a that's a great repurposing idea. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Because we're all about the environment and saving the earth. So, okay. How about if we do our brown basket next? You guys know that that paint with me all the time. I like to paint from light to dark. And we could do our yellow bumblebee too, but I'm going to do the basket and then I'll go into the flowers. So wash off your brush, dry it off. Okay, I'm still sticking with the um, brown. If you don't have brown paint, you can mix together some red and some orange, maybe some yellow. Or if you guys bought the whole set, you, you definitely have brown. Oh, you know, I wanted to show you. So again, I'm doing a lot of these um, parties and uh, you can make your own kits, but I also have this too. I just want to show you real quick. Um, this is a set, but the, the set is awesome. It has a drawer. It turns into an easel. It comes with um, a little canvas, which is cute. And a lot of businesses and companies order that for their, um, like as a gift. And they're a little bit more expensive, but um, the paint doesn't, it's good for like a one-time deal. The paint tubes are really small and it's good for one canvas and then you're done, but you still have that nice set. It comes with brushes and everything. I prefer you guys get everything, you know, a little bit bigger so you can do it more often. Oh, and then Bella are here. So yes, yeah, Jim, whatever you want. They, uh, yes. And we're going to bring them on. Okay. And you want me to make them big, hey, right? Hey, oh, um, I just wanted to come on and show a bicycle picture from a show that um we like a lot and see if anyone can figure this out. Oh. Hmm. I don't know it. Can you oh, see I it? think I know it, but I'm not going to say. It's a very good show. It takes place in the 80s. A little yes. hint. <laughs> oh, wait. Is it? A, oh, I'm not going to say what it is. I wouldn't have known if you didn't say it. Look at how far you guys are. You guys are farther ahead than me. <laughs> Am I getting too long today? <laughs> well, she, Bella didn't do a sloppy copy, so that kind of helps. Okay. They look great. What do you guys use supply-wise? I'm using paint and Emma's using something else. Something Emma's else. doing something else. She's not done yet, so um, it's going to be a surprise. Yes. All right. We'll wait. We'll come back later. We'll go on a little bit later to show you. You want to tell us the movie? Tell us what it is. Stranger Things. Yeah. Stranger Things. I, I couldn't even think of the title of it. I have watched Stranger Things. And Irina, I only knew because you said it's an 80s show. That Otherwise, I wouldn't have figured it out. So thanks for the Bye, <laughs> right, you guys. Thanks. We'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, we'll you guys can stay back. You guys can stay backstage if you want. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? They're, those are, um, they've been with me for a year. They're oh. sisters, and uh, they have been creating with me for a long time, and I love it, and they, they're fantastic. So we'll, we'll look at their artwork again later. And so they're way ahead of me, but don't feel like you have to be because they're, they do this all the time, and they are used to doing their own thing too. So I'm just going to show you, let's see how this shows up, this brown. So watch this. I'm going to do a vertical line. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Oops, I see here someone oh, else here. Meg is here. Um, yeah. You want me to bring Meg on? Sure. All right. They're used to doing their own thing. So I'm just going to show you. Let's see. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Oh, my painting is blue. Um, I actually had some actual stones, so I put it some on. I love your rocks. What's holding them on there? Um, Hot glue. Oh, you use hot glue? Be careful. 
Yeah, it's actually, I've actually been doing it for a while because um, I need these pencils. They have like the hot glue and then I paint them. Oh. Yeah, and instead of flowers, I actually put in a little like um chipmunk. In oh. the I love it. I love the chipmunk. Yeah. Ah. And my sister wants to say hi. Hi. Are you making stuff with us? <laughs> I think she's making watermelon. Watermelon. We like watermelon. Oh, look at that. That's so funny. Okay. Are you on spring break, Eileen? Yeah. Awesome. This is, and I wanted to show you one other thing. Can yeah. we do like a corn? a corn thing or like a watermelon thing because in my class we planted plants and my in almost all of my plants are doing it and this is my corn i can um I'm actually, half of them already grew but that wow i you have a whole garden <laughs> sort of and those other cups, they have a lot, but the corn's the tallest because it was the first one. That's awesome. What are you going to do when it gets too big? I'm going to outdoors the cup. Yeah, I'm going to put it outdoors because we have a lot of pots. That's fantastic. You got to paint your pot, though. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm, yeah, I might paint it, actually. I might put, like, a corn on it. Good idea. Yeah. Like a picture of some corn. Or I love it. Those are great ideas. Thanks, Eileen. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. And we also have another visitor. You want to bring them on? Sure. All right. Hi. 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 So this one is mine. I love it. Oh my gosh, your basket looks amazing. What are you using to color? Pencils. Now, put it up close. That is amazing pattern. I love the colors that you used. I used like four different colors of brown. And it, uh, you know what? It took you a long time, didn't it? Um, it took actually it didn't take me that long. No, it looks great. It's very interesting. And there's like only like one, like that are next to each other, like not diagonal, but um up and down. And I made it like a game. You have to try to find that. Oh, like an I spy? Uh huh. That's great. Very nice. Do you guys have a favorite bike movie? Um, no, I don't think so. Did you know those movies that, with the pictures? No, no. <laughs> you know any? You guys have to watch Coonies. It's so good. It's one of my favorite movies, but it's you know it's like from when I was your age, so it's really old. But it's not in black and white. <laughs> it's a color movie. <laughs> So, did you you want to show us yours? Sure. So this one's mine. I asked Sage what's the first thing when it catches your eye. She said the blue. I say the black rose that I made. I tried to make it look like a rose. Yeah, it looks great. I think it looks like a rose. They look really nice. Yeah. This almost looks like my bike at home, only it doesn't have a basket full of flowers. Well, you're going to have to get one. Right? You got to get a basket. <laughs> Thanks, yes. girl. Are you on spring break? No. 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 Okay. Well, um, good. It's in like, um, no, say so that's summer break. Spring oh. break um, for us was around St. Patrick's Day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Everyone is different between March and April. So, well, I'm glad you're here today. Thank you. Uh, bye. All right, so I, they did a fantastic job on their baskets. I love how they customize it and did whatever colors that they wanted to. There are members, so they're very comfortable on camera, and they've been doing this with me for a year, so I love that. Um, so here's, again, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. Do you see that? Let's go back here. Uh, that's how I created the basket look. And then maybe I add a little bit of white to it to give it a lighter look. So vertical, horizontal, can you see that? You can, of course, use pencils. A lot of the kids use paint sticks too, which are really nice. They just don't blend great. So when you're trying to blend and mix colors, 
that's not a good option. But again, if you're going to color flat, So this is giving the illusion of a basket weave, right? So. Oh, we got the Flanagan kids. Are you ready for right. that? Whenever you're ready. All right. Hey, Flanagan. Hi. Hi. Let's see what you got going on. Are you guys painting today? This is mine. Ooh, you use the blue. That looks nice. These are mine. They look great. What are you using? What kind of paint? Not sure? That's okay. They look great. Paint is what it is. I see. No, oh, Clover one. Clover paint for a minute. Oh, I like it, Cora. What color is your bike? I don't have a bike. Yes, you you know. don't. You're going to get one soon. I, I feel I it. You have a bike. Well, you do no, have a bike. I didn't make a bike on this. Okay. It's a bike in your life. I see. <laughs> well, well, it's pink, but it's what you can do on That's a really pretty pink, too. Oh, bike is making black. I love it. You guys are doing awesome. Yeah. Thanks for creating with us. This is to you too, Cora, silly girl. Let's <laughs> paint blue, blue and black. All right, see you later, Cora. <laughs> Bye. Bye. And we've got, and we've also got Reagan is here now. Hey, Reagan. And Dad, hey, congratulations on your retirement. And you know what? Oh, thanks, Denise. I um. Uh, Jim, who's helping me behind the scenes, is also a retired military man. And Reagan's dad just retired from how many years? I forgot. Uh, 21 years and eight months. Air, Air Force? That's right. Awesome. I was in the Marines, so congratulations. Oh, thank you. So thank you guys for your service. All right, Reagan, back to you. <laughs> that looks amazing. So again, Reagan's been creating with us for a long time. Reagan painted, you always do your whole background. So that looks nice. Did you blow dry it today? Um, I actually put it outside on a trampoline for like a couple minutes and it dried really fast. That is such a smart idea, except, you know, you should be the one on the trampoline. <laughs> Reagan came on one day, you guys, and did some trampoline tricks for us. So, oh, you put a butterfly. Yeah, the put butterfly because I do not like bees. No, I love it. Yeah, because you don't like bees. And those, yeah. This is from my favorite show. Can anybody guess what show it is? Come closer. You got a glare. I can't. I got to see those guys. Oh, oh, I know. That's from when I was a kid. That's an old show. I can't remember the name of it. So that, um, I know that one guy is Chachi from Happy Days. <laughs> Chachi. Do you know Happy Days? Um, no. That, Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo is from Happy Days. Chachi. What? And so, so we've got we've got a couple guesses over on Amazon. Full House. Yes. Full House. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Got three Thanks, of them. Reagan. Gina, Brandy, and Sammy and all got it right. I want oh. to show you this. Oh, oh that was so nice. We did... Um, we did chapels last week. Last Wednesday, we did chapels. And your trees look amazing. Come close so I can see those trees. The texture, those look so good. Oh, it came out yeah. so nice. Yeah. We did it right before Easter. Oh, you guys have a good Easter? Yes. Awesome. I wasn't ready. You're definitely not going too slow. Mine, I got mine like way too black, and then I put a lot more paint on it, and now it's still not dry, but I tried to grow on it. and. <laughs> Now I just need to wait for it to really dry. Yeah, go stick it in the sun. It'll dry in no time. So see, even adults can do this stuff. Yeah, but it's so nice. They paint together all the time. And again, try a blow dryer or the sun. The sun really, you might get some insects on there. They they do tend to stick to the paint. But I, did, I got one little fly on it out there. That's when I brought it in. And it's still not dry, though. Yes. The, you know what? It adds texture, right? You're a plain air painter. So... All right, Reagan, you're going to share again with me later when you're done. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. 
you guys can be any age. I love when the families create together. So whether you're creating together and you have, you know, you're a mom and you have time to go do something on your own or and you leave the kids or you create with them. It's so awesome and fun. And look at everybody does their own thing, right? And let's see. I love that you guys are coming up with ideas for movies with bike scenes too. I love to, oh my gosh, Reagan, this, I'm going to go get this for you. Hold on one second. Okay, you guys. Look, if you don't want to put a bumblebee and you want to have a butterfly, put a butterfly. You could do a monarch. I just, you guys know this room. If you could see my whole space, I have everything here. So you can add a butterfly. You don't have to have a bumblebee. I just think those fuzzy bumblebees are cute. So let's go to the pink. I'm going to do pink flowers. I feel like you guys are ahead of me. Okay, we got Emma and Bella. They're back. I bet you they're done. All right. You ready You ready to bring them oh, on or did you want to? Sure, sure. They can come on. It? All right. Hi, Dan. Hi. Hey, girls. This is mine. Nice. And um, you want to tell people how you I, drew this? You just give a tip. On what, what is you, what's the paper? Um, this is the canvas paper that um, it has the... Uh, the canvas pad from the canvas pad. Yeah, this, yes. the canvas pad paper. And I think it's uh, nine by twelve. Okay, it's uh, not very big. And uh, we wanted to give people a um, a tip on how they can trace things. So we printed out the template that you posted on the website. And well, I traced on, it on the window in the file in the file section. And she put it. She put the canvas paper on top of it, and put it on the window. So it kind of made a big, ginormous light box out of the window, and she just traced it and then yeah. painted it. So if you don't have a light box, you can do that. Exactly. You don't even have to have a light box. You can just use a good old window. That's high tech. That's creative thinking, right? That is necessity is the mother of invention. Yes. I love it. Wait, wait. Where's my... Here's my high tech. Look at that. Think outside the box. Look at they're thinking outside the box, right? Yeah. Think outside the box. Think outside the Amazon box. Oh, I haven't held this up in a while. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is what they're using, except mine's a little bit bigger. So mine, you guys, is 11 by 14, but they're using the uh, 9 by 12. I should probably show mine now. Yeah, show, show your art. So I did digital art. Wow. Oh, wait. How did you get it on your phone? Are you doing digital art? Yep. That's digital? Create because we got it a few days ago, so now I'm just using you know digital art to see if I like it, and it's pretty. Cool. I yes. think it looks amazing. She's branching out. She's trying yeah. her hand at different kinds of um, art. art. Yeah, she's gotten into digital art lately. So, is that a, is that a specific app you're using? Procreate Pocket. It's pretty cool. Wow. Oh, you can also make designs, and you don't even have to draw it. You can just like paste it on there for cheating and it's really good for like shading and mm -hmm. stuff so it's a little bit easier than um using you know paints or pencils but then you don't have the mess you have clean hands <laughs> yeah which yeah, works really great hands. it works really good for mom because there's only <laughs> half the mess to clean <laughs> wow i'm gonna be cleaning anyway yeah one day i'm gonna learn digital art but you know yeah it's a bit tough or sort of but it's also easier in some ways like you could erase things like with ease you can resize things oh, yeah. easier you could like just fill in whole layers it's really nice you guys are really good tech i'm gonna have to have you do my marketing and advertising stuff <laughs> you guys are gonna be so beyond what i know right <laughs> it's amazing how fast the kids learn all these I, things. truly definitely you guys are so blessed thank you and you're still gonna create an anime i gotta come up with a date for you Ooh, yes. Ooh. Yes. So thanks, girls. Thanks, Irina. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Giant heart. Giant heart. I'm doing giant hearts a lot now. Yeah. Good. Giant heart. Love thanks, you. girls. Bye. All right. So I'm glad I'm not talking too much, but I am. <laughs> so let me just get some pink flowers on here because I still want to hot glue some on here. So I leave. Look at that's how strong hot glue is. You have, so I just put some pink on there. All right, wash off your brush, dry it off. I'm going to add some value and some lights and darks later. I'm adding texture because my acrylic paint is pretty thick. 
I put a lot on, but you don't have to have that much. You don't have to use pink. You can use purple. You can use yellow. You can make daffodils. You can do roses. You saw all the kids. And so our members, it looks like they're all kids, but we do have adult members. They just don't like to come on the camera. <laughs> Chicken. But I'm just kidding. So every once in a while, Kim will come on camera. But um, we do have all ages and abilities, which is amazing. And the kids are so inventive and creative uh, and talented. So, okay. So I just made some really just some pink swirly lines and I'm going to highlight and show you how I'm going to turn them into flowers. But I want you to look at how thick that is, right? So it gives it texture. Now, plain air painters are artists like Van Gogh and Monet who would go outside and paint. And lots of times things stuck to their painting. So if you have a fly or a gnat or something that gets stuck to there, really it just makes it more interesting. So don't worry about it. And if you want to pick it off, you can't, but then you'll probably have a little mark there. Now I do have these little like dots of petals in the air, almost looks like confetti, right? So you could add a couple little dots while you have that pink or whatever color you have on your brush. And, you know, maybe not overdo it. You don't want to do too many. Okay. So what I can do is, again, where's my little solo cup of white paint? I can take this and take a little bit of white and just highlight it, right? So what did we say that's called? A tint. When you add white to a color, it becomes a tint, which is a value. So I could just swirl some white in there. I think we have one more movie left. Uh, I think we saved the best for last. This is before, before you guys go, and I want to keep going, but some of the kids might have to go back to school. My favorite movie from childhood, okay? And I hope, hope, hope you know. Oh, that one. I forgot about that one. Second to last. Love this one too, right? Um, I know the song. Rainbow Connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. You guys, all right, you don't want to hear me sing. And I can't play music because of copyright, but that's as close to a Rainbow Connection song. Sometimes I like to go, Alexa, play Rainbow Connection. And sometimes so I the, set up. It, we get the answer the Muppets? Is that right? Yes. Sometimes awesome. I set up people's Alexas when I sing right. the song. And it's kind of funny. They'll be like, you just set off my Alexa. Okay. Love the. All right. Now is my favorite movie. There Let's we go. Name the next one. What is that? Name that movie. Name that movie. Who's got it? Still waiting. Come on, you guys. I know you know it. I'm trying to think of a song that I... Oh, I don't even know the song that goes with that. I know, right? I'm sure there was music in there. Who got it? I see the Flan... Is it the Flanagans? Yes. And also, I think Suzanne did too. Um we have two, two, yes. and that is correct. Two winners there. E. Yay, e. Right you guys answer. got it. I'm so glad that you know what e. who E.T. is. My fa That's my favorite, my favorite childhood bicycle movie is E.T. E.T. phone home. All right, that's the best impersonation I can get. <laughs> right? that, that's all I got for that one. E.T. phone home. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's, let's put some yellow in our, in our B. So I'm going to leave his head for black for later. You can do a butterfly like Reagan did. Okay. Let's go put some white wings on him. Where's my little white solo cup? You can do a dragonfly. Let's see. Am I ready for my black? I think I'm ready for the black. I, I, I really like to use black like last, again, just because I'm kind of sloppy and I get it into stuff. So let's do the tire. So 
So you can see the kids all use their own supplies. And many times when I do these videos, you're going to see a variety of different ways to color, like different options. Today, I really stuck to the acrylic paint. But when I did the bunny one, I probably showed at least five different mediums. I showed the solid temper sticks, oil pastels, color pencils, crayons, markers, watercolor paint. Because I really think that all these projects that we can do, you can use whatever you have. And what's so interesting, so those, you guys just saw some of my members that create with me every week. And what I've heard from their family, parents, is that they used to be shy, okay? And then because they've been creating with me so long, they love coming on camera that they're not, they're more comfortable now publicly speaking and presenting and going on camera, which is really amazing. On top of being better artists, right? And thinking outside the box and being creative. Yeah, that was that was amazing. A lot of lot of talented uh, young people and and even older people. Mm hmm. Yep. And I'm you know lucky enough that I get to see their pictures when they're done. So I know that they will post their photos. And you guys are welcome to message me. Uh, you can upload a photo. In the comments, I'm not sure on Amazon if you're able to upload a photo, but you guys, if you follow me at Artists at Heart Paint Party on Facebook, join the free group. You can upload your photos there. You can send them to me through Facebook, and um, you can email me if you go to my website, which is artistsatheart.org. So I started my website when I was a teacher. So artistsatheart.org was when I was a Cleveland public teacher, and then I just kept it. Um, and so I never knew I was really going to be a visual, you know virtual artist, but here we are, right? And if you guys want to highlight your tire with some white, let me do the handlebar first. Okay, there's my little handlebar. And then the black for the bumblebee. And the real tiny areas, if you want, if you wait for your painting to dry, you can use the black Sharpie to add little skinny black lines or little details, even the eyes. Um, but wait for it to dry because you're going to ruin your marker. If you, Mr. Ward, you're going to ruin that marker if you use it on wet paint. So, all right. Um, let's see what else I want to do. I want to put some green leaves on there. So get, every time you switch colors, rinse off your brush. I'm going to add some green leaves in the background here. You can overlap some of the leaves into the, on top of the basket to make it look like it's overflowing. You guys can add little dots if you have like leftover yellow. I like to use the handle of my paintbrush for little dots. So if you wanna put like some little yellow dots in there, you can even add like little, you know, those little, Okay, you can add it to the background. So just dip your brush, the handle into the paint and then you're gonna get a little circle. I'm gonna put, let's see what else do I wanna do? Oh, I need the eye. So the eye, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna dip my paintbrush handle and I'm gonna put a white dot for the eye. Can you see that? Oh, the antennas, I need little black antennas. Again, I can be patient and wait for it to dry. I could just draw. Oh, the high, I was going to highlight the bicycle pedal. So I need some white. I mean, the bicycle wheel here, right? So I just put a little bit of white 
on my brush and now I'm getting some white highlight on my black wheel. But you can leave it solid black. Totally up to you. And I want to show you one last thing. And I love that you guys were putting like the chipmunk or the animals in the cart. You could put your, you know, whatever you want to, to put in your cart. In your basket, I mean. That's what I mean. You guys know what I mean. And here is one other thing you can do. Well, not one, many. Who loves glitter? You guys know this is one of my favorite products. It's Maj Podge Glitter. So if you wait for your paint to dry, you can add this on top of it. And it's got sparkle. So it's Maj Podge glue. But it's not strong enough to hold like Ivy was gluing rocks on. It's strong enough to hold little things, but it dries with a sparkle. So pretty. So this is one of my favorite products. It comes in extra glitter and regular glitter. I'm going to show you, but it has to be dry. So this side, look at it. So it's going to look like that when it goes on. And when it dries, it's going to be transparent glitter. I'm just going to do it right there so you can see. So this is, again, if you want to add a little bling and a little sparkle to your artwork. Ooh, Reagan's back. Reagan's back. All right, let's check it out. All right. Nice yellow. Reagan, your arms are dirty today. <laughs> <laughs> I love the yellow basket, too. Thank you. Know you. What? You're, you're going to really need this today, Reagan. Do you have these? <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you're going to have to ask your mom about that. All right. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> just, that's worse than I am today. <laughs> All right. Thanks, that's why Reagan. kids like cart. They like Thank to make them. I know. I know. Take care. That looks awesome. I love it. Thank you. See you, Reagan. Okay, so okay, you can already see start to see the glitter. See it? So it still has that white kind of milky coat to it, but as it dries, it's gonna be super glossy and it's gonna be glittery. So if you love glitter, this is again one of my favorite products. Now, if you want where to go, I put it down somewhere. If you so you have to spread it out because if it's too thick, it's gonna dry white. You don't want it to dry white. So you have to brush it on and leave it so that it's thin. But if you want to add texture and have it thick, you can use this glitter, which actually comes in colors. And what's so awesome about these glitters, guys, is that it's not messy. So one of the things I didn't like about glitter, I always love glitter, is the loose little pieces of glitter. Getting it in my eye or in the carpet and trying to get it's you know all vacuumed up. The custodian of my school never liked when I use glitter, and really most of the moms didn't either, because all those little pieces of glitter end up everywhere. So this liquid glitter is amazing, and so is the Mosh Posh because one, it has a little pointy thing, but this one was is better for again texture. So let me just show you. Oops, see that? See that? I didn't mean to, it. It actually dripped. So don't. Hold it up in the air when you're doing it. Lay your artwork down. See that? But it'll it'll give it some dimension. So look at that. You see it's a little bit thick and it'll dry like that. And look at the Maj Posh. So see the difference? So again, this one comes in different colors. It's really easy to use. You can squeeze it out. It's very neat. It has a cap, right? And this will give you some dimension and some bling. The Maj Posh is flat. I know I had something else to tell you guys. Let me finish that because I want to I want to hot glue. So you guys, when Ivy was hot gluing, I highly recommend the low temperature hot glue gun. And there, I have two on there, a low temperature and a one with a temperature that you can change. The hot one, let me tell you, it gets hot. And I remember when I was in school, I burned my finger and I still have a scar on it from today. So that's why I always use the low temperature glue gun. Um, and it comes in different sizes. So you can get a large one. I like the small one. So it's just called a hot glue gun mini. So I'll just show you. Thank goodness there's only two sizes. But there's 
a size like this, which fits a mini hot glue gun, and then a bigger stick like this. And I'll just hold them up. I know my kids at school always used to wonder what these are, and they're bendable. They would just play with them. This is what a hot glue stick looks like. It's kind of like plastic. So you put it in. What, it's in my box. Look, you guys. I keep forgetting what's in the Amazon box. Okay. So this is a low temperature glue gun. Okay, that's what I recommend. Did I show Bob today yet? We the did. I did? Okay, good. I can't remember. So the low temperature hot glue gun is the one I recommend or the one with the dual setting. I didn't, I forgot to show you guys this too, but these are just little poppable easels. Look at, they pop out like this. So if you like to create with your artwork standing up, this just goes on a tabletop, right? And then these ears, if you have a tall canvas, they go up. So it holds your canvas in place like that. So that's called a tabletop easel. And then it just collapses. So when I do in-person jobs, I, you guys, I have 200 of these in my garage. And so they just collapse like that. Super easy, very lightweight. They, they come with a travel bag too. So these are awesome. That's my, my, um, my easels that I paint on. But when you're gluing, you don't want to have them standing up. So you, because it'll drip. So you would want to lay it flat. And then again, I just want to finish this. And again, I would obviously take more time and, and it's dripping, but that's because I'm holding it up. But what I want to show you with the hot glue gun is how I can embellish the finished artwork. So here's my dry one, right? So wait for it to dry. You can take your favorite little things. And again, I, I was gluing rocks. Did you see that? She had rocks on there. And so I'm just going to, let me see if I can reach with my cord. All right. So I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue. And I would, I, I never let the kids use the hot glue guns alone. So I just want, you know, because they're hot. So it melted the glue. Can you guys see that? That solid plastic glue stick. I just squeezed it a little bit right there. And then you can stick it on there. So you can actually embellish your artwork with some fake flowers, with some pretty fake flowers. Maybe you have them, right? So let me put another one on here. I'm just going to show you guys. Here's another one. Okay. So what you could do depending on your flowers and the sizes that you have. Look, so I have these big things, right? So you can cut them off. If you don't mind, you can cut them off. This one's pretty big for my artwork, but these are my Van Gogh sunflowers. So you can cut them off if things already on stems. Sometimes you can find them and then they pull right off, right? So you don't even need to cut them because they pop right off. So, and this one has a rhinestone in the middle. But you got to make sure that you have a good size. So test it out, try it out, pick good colors, add leaves. I even have a leaf here, but it was so big. So what happens if my leaf's too big? Because I think this, look at that. See how big it is? It, it dominates the picture. You don't want something that's going to overtake the picture, right? I could cut this. I could cut it to make it fit better. If I could find my scissors, I bet you they're in the box. <laughs> so if I wanted to, I could cut down my leaf make it fit better and you know what this one because I don't really like this green I could even paint it right okay you can even put a little bit of, so it matches my painting better so I think I gave you enough to think about today <laughs> I hope you guys had fun uh, I think I asked you all the quiz questions I hope you're gonna create this and keep creating with me we're gonna do this again and um, if you want to outline it if there's anything you want to know you guys can message me text me email me however you want to get a hold of me you can find out more information I'm just gonna put a quick outline on here just to show you guys what it would look like so sometimes I outline this stuff, sometimes I don't. That would be up to you guys. So I, I hope I answered all of your questions. I hope you enjoyed this so much. I like to say, uh, be happy, make art, think outside the box, right? 
What's in your Amazon box? Jim, am I forgetting anything? <laughs> no, I think you hit everything. So thanks everyone. And I know we'll, uh, I think we're planning on what every Wednesday at one and uh, there may be some others that come up, but that's why you need to make sure you're following Denise so you can keep up. Uh, so is, is that it, Denise, do you think for today? Yeah, and what's the plan? is just a thing so much. You guys, thank you so much. I love that you came on and thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And I love how everyone is creating together and making art. And I have as much fun as you guys do, really. Don't forget to clean up, right? You guys, if you could see that, I'm glad the camera's not overhead because my table is a mess. Look at the, again, you guys can see the Mod Podge glitter. You can see now because that's the, that's the dry look. Isn't that pretty? So it's glossy and it's sparkly. So it's just a really fun thing to use uh, to make things bling, have some bling. Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you. All of my members and everyone on Amazon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Be happy, make, be happy, make art. Bye you guys. <laughs>